Now, here she is, our all-time favorite Secretary of State, Michelle Reagan. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So I've had two cups of coffee now, so you better get ready. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> oh now I, I, we were supposed to get John like at 6.50. Was that, co- was that one cup? <laughs> yeah, that was one cup in. So, you know, we're I've got a huge day today, and then I take off and go to Nashville for the um, taking a red eye so I can get there in time to speak at the National Lieutenant Governor Association meeting. Uh, I grew up in just down the road from Nashville. Can you speak Southern? <laughs> oh, no, I can't speak Southern. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Well, well I wonder if they can understand you if, when you make your presentation. That's, that's why I'm asking. Well, it's all the lieutenant governors from around the country. And, of course, since Arizona doesn't have a lieutenant governor, um, I'm lucky enough to get to fulfill that role as well. So most people don't know, but I'm actually on the board. That, okay, you just brought something up. I'm going to ask you this. It's probably inappropriate, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Since you are one step away from being the governor of Arizona, how can we get Doug Ducey on our show? He used to come on all the time before he became the governor, and we haven't been able to connect with him. Is there a secret way to he get doesn't it? Like, <laughs> He doesn't like you, Ken. He is super busy, and we, we'd like to divide and conquer. So if uh, if you get me, sometimes you don't get him. Oh, well, you're fine. You know, That's okay. I like you better. He's, he's yeah. the number one. So. <laughs> well, forget him then, Michelle. I'm just two. All right. <laughs> let's talk about voter registration. Looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's looking really good. The um, numbers have gone up. And, um, you know, that's always a good sign, especially in a year where we're not packed with elections, because we expect to see that in a big election year. So very, very good news. Yeah, the uh, the numbers are interesting to me, the, the numbers of Republicans, Democrats, and then the numbers of people that don't officially recognize one party or at least don't say which party. They're almost identical to that of the numbers of the Republicans, which is just slightly higher than the numbers of the Democrats. That's interesting to me. Yeah, it is interesting. And that's the trend that we're seeing around the country. Um, It's not just in Arizona where um, people are choosing to not register in either party and just be a um, party. It's called PND, Party Not Declared. And um, some people, you know, call that independent. And uh, but we like to remind people there is no independent party. So All right, explain this, if you would, because a lot of people move to the state. They're not familiar with how things work in some states. If you are, let's say, a registered Republican, you can only vote in certain Republican elections or whatever. In other states, it doesn't really matter. Uh, how does it work in Arizona? Well, you ask an excellent question because a lot of people don't realize that if they are registered as an independent or party not declared, they can vote in every single election in our state except for one, and that is the presidential preference election, which comes around only once every four years. So if it's a primary, which is a state primary, where let's say I'll be on the ballot um, you know, in the, on the Republican side and there'll be um, a Democrat ballot, an independent can vote in that primary. They just need to tell the poll worker or the county recorder which ballot they want. Okay. All right. They so. don't know which one to send them. So, you know, they might be on the permanent early voting list and automatically get their ballots. Now, but what, in what, the primary, what, they need to know which ballot to send them. What's interesting about that large number of people who are independents is they could be in favor of one of the smaller parties that have almost no recognition in the state, but we just don't know. Correct. And, you know, there's many reasons why people choose to um, register outside of a party. And our goal is to make sure that they know that they can vote in state primaries, because it's not like that in every state. So um, we only have about 6 to 8 percent of that group coming out in the um, primaries. And they could really sway a primary if they showed up in force. You're talking about this not being a big election year. Is it? Dif- it must be really difficult to get people to get up and get out, unless it's going to affect them personally, of some of the elections that are held. Yes, it does. We've got a lot of local elections going on right now. We have a wonderful website that we put together called, um, so easy to remember, it's called Arizona.vote. So hmm. just our state name, dot .vote. And it's always going to have the most current election information on there. So right now we've got local elections. And, you know, if you're in one of the cities where there's a local election, then then you should visit Arizona.vote, and you can get all sorts of information, how to contact your county recorder to make sure you're getting a ballot, um, 
And it's a statewide site, too, so it's not just, you know, we forget not everyone's in Maricopa County. I, I need a cup of coffee uh, because I just wrote down Arizona dot dot. That's, uh, <laughs> dot you need two like me. So, yeah, <laughs> Arizona dot vote. Right okay. now for the municipal elections on um, August 29th, we've got Phoenix, Prescott, Tucson, and Yuma all have um, elections August 29th. Michelle, before we let Go you register, you we, have yeah, let's July do that. Thirty first, let's do it. I like it. Hey, I, I just want to get your opinion on uh, Senator McCain, what he's gone through, and what he did yesterday, and, and you know whether people agree with him or don't. Just what he's doing and what he's battling. Uh, you know, I thought he put on a pretty brave face yesterday in, in Senate. You know, golly, what a fighter! Um, you know, to have surgery and then all of a sudden be on the Senate floor a week later, and not just. You know, and, and being very an active member on the Senate floor, um, you know, I just think that's our Arizona spirit, and he embodies that, whether you like him or not, or not like him. Um, yeah, I happen to like him, but you, um, you know, wow, <laughs> not a lot of people would be able to do that. Right, and and so I, it shows how important our state is to him. Yep. All right. Well, y'all have a good time in Nashville. I will. Oh, I will. oh look at that! You just did it, Michelle. <laughs> That's good. Now you've been practicing. I see. I see what you're doing there. I like it. Well, enjoy Nashville. It should be fun, and uh, and uh, obviously we'll catch up again real soon. Okay, and don't worry uh, about getting Deucey. I don't want to talk to Deucey. He's boring. I like oh, talking no. to you. He's, he's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's doing so much for our state. We should be really proud. <laughs> so when I take my Uber from the airport, I will, you know, I will say this is because of Deucey. There you go. All I right. Like it. Very Sounds good. good. Michelle Reagan, Secretary of State. Thanks so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you.